Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how to assemble coolant bedside table from IKEA. That's the one here. We have it in white. Let's do it now. And we're starting with the dividing panels. We're going to have four of these. They're going between the side panels and there's two slim ones, which they have two wooden plaques on each side and two thicker ones, which they have one wooden plaque on each side. We do the exactly the same on the other side. So the small ones two and bigger ones one plug only on each side. Place them in, secure them. And we can prepare side panels. This is the rails for the side panels. Plastic rails, unfortunately in this case. But that's what we have, so you just press them on the holes and uh, if you need, just tap it with the hammer slightly, don't go too hard on it, it's just hard plastic, so we just find the holes and place them in. Sometimes they go easy, sometimes harder, use hammer if you need to, just be gentle here, don't break them. You got two screws securing each uh, rail, so one at the front and one at the back. Just secure the screws and the runner is secured. And we can place the front dividing panels, two of them on the top, one on the bottom, that's the thicker one, and one at the back. The back one is without a color. And we can put the side panel in the top, uh, the ending one. So we got two side panel join, joining those four dividing panels. One screw through the bottom panel and the back panel. Through the side panel to the dividing panel. That's the thicker ones. We can turn the drawer the other way around and do exactly the same. There is a one screw at the back and one screw at the bottom. Just secure the screw and the frame is secured together. Now this is the top panel. You're gonna have four screws secure the screws in till the stopper don't go deeper don't go higher just like that there it is four wooden plaques on the top of the drawer four metal locks, two on each side. Let's position the arrow in the right direction, so you're not gonna have a problem later on. And we can put the whole thing in. In this case, the top panel is on the carpet, so we just place the frame, it's small, easy to maneuver. Find the red hole, place it in and secure with the locks, the four locks, two on each side, that just twist the lock to the right side and that secure the screw. Okay, back of the drawer we got the, the back uh, panel here, very slim and it not going even all the way down, that's how it is, just halfway Secure it and four legs is just some kind of plastic on a nail. Nail them in, that's it, with the hammer, of course. And the drawer frame is ready. Now we're gonna do the drawers. Gonna have two, one smaller, one bigger. 
two screws on each side of the front panel. One on each side. This is the dividing panels or the sides of the drawer. Place the wooden plugs. Locks, place them in, point the arrow in the right direction. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to place them in the front panels. And we can place them in, just join the front panel. In this case, we're doing two drawers at the same time. As you can see, the bottom one is the bigger one. The top one is the smaller one. Let's place the side panels, secure it, twist the lock to the right side. This is the bottom panel of the drawer. The white part coming in, in a drawer. See, just slide it in, got the gap on the side and place the back panel of the drawer. Just slide it in the gap and place it in. Back panel is secured with the two plastic plugs from the each side. So there's gonna be four per, dr per drawer. Just hammer them in. Turn it the other way around and exactly the same to plastic plugs securing the drawer from the other side. Okay, drawer ready, we can place them in just on the plastic runner, slide it in and the drawer is secured with this uh, plastic plug on the side. Once you slide it, the drawer in, you just place those, this kind of stopper, so not, not gonna let you come out of the drawer completely. And you can slide the drawer in now. Exactly the same with the second drawer, place them on the rails, on the plastic rails, that's how. And once you're in, that the holes the locking holes have to be already inside the rail and place the two locks one on each side just hammer them in and that's how we secure the drawer from coming out completely okay and this is it ikea cool and bedside table Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You will make my day. Don't forget and see you in my next one very, very soon. By the way, check out the review on the on this bedside table. I'm going to leave a link in the description and you can see it somewhere here as well. Have a fantastic day.